All right. First of all, Nesdip, thank you so much for taking the time to join me. I really appreciate it. So today I want to talk a little bit about your experience within collegiate esports and how it differs from what we know about professional esports. Okay. So to start off, can you tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do on the team, and what like a normal day in the life of your team looks like? Uh, I am Bruce Jouf. My name uh, in game uh, is uh, Nesdip. Uh, I play for Laval uh, Flex uh, Curry. And a uh, normal day is like um, we wake up uh, for school. Uh, when we have finished school, we do an internship. We, we have uh, some work. And next, we play uh, scrims. And we have uh, a coach who check our scrims and get uh, feedback in the end of the day. You are obviously part of the, the collegiate scene. We have people in the you know pro scene, though, also within the same age groups and stuff. Do you think that the path that you're pursuing right now, going to school and also doing this while in college, has benefited you guys comparing to jumping right into the pro scene? I think uh, Heroes of the Dorm uh, can help you a lot to have uh, visibility to become a pro. But um, for being a pro, I think if you can make it, uh, and it's your uh, patient, do it. But uh, if you are not sure, do uh, a scholarship and see if you can have um, a bag to, to if you can't uh, do a pro, a pro. So can you talk to me a little bit about the challenge of balancing a school life with having to prepare for such a big, highly competitive event like this? It's, it's really, really, really hard. Like um, you have to to be really good in the game and at school, and yeah, uh, it's really a lot of work. What would you say is something that you've learned in your time with the team that you would take with you into like prepping for something next year or in the future? Um, manage my stress. I think it's like uh, really stressful to to see if. Um, your skill or your uh, team is going up or down and you have to manage this and the school uh, stress and I think uh, it's a big part of uh, we are, what we have uh, trained. So how, how much time per day would you say that you have in order to kind of prepare and practice and everything and how much of that time is spent in scrims and how much is spent just kind of warming up or mechanically practicing? Uh, we did uh, five, six uh, hours hour, uh, for scrims, and I think two, three hours uh, for solo queue for the me mechanic, and maybe one hour for the coach uh, part with uh, the analyst or something like that. And how often do you guys get to practice together? Is it every day? Uh, f uh, five uh, days uh, per week. It can be six days uh, per week too. Gotcha. So even with that intense schedule um, and having to balance school on top of that, I, I imagine it's super challenging. Uh, but you guys are still practicing less than, say, like the pro teams. And Heroes of the Storm also has one of like the highest update rates or, or um, the rate at which new characters or you know patches are included into the game. How does this affect your practice time and your ability to stay and keep that competitive edge? Um, I think... Uh... It's a big part of the training. It's really hard to know which uh, champ will be nerfed or buffed. Mm -hmm. And we have um, like half of the scrim to check if uh, the champ is really uh, OP right now or not. Like the Genji uh, nerf uh, the last patch. We, we managed to tra train it, uh, training a lot and check if it's really uh, good now mm -hmm. and our uh, analyst and coach do a solo queue too in uh, master level master gm level um, in uh, europa and uh, america so they can help us about that can you um tell me a little bit about how your how your team first came together and then what that kind of uh, team building process was like for you um at first uh, they met um, at school uh, like uh, three years ago but uh, this year, uh, Ari Brub and me uh, come. Um, I, uh, last year, I was in, French, in France, and I come uh, in uh, Canada for just one year to make um, another diploma. So uh, uh, I meet my team on a group Facebook called uh, Spotted because they need uh, another player. 
on yeah, is that, is that sword? <laughs> so Heroes of the Dorm is kind of a trailblazer for collegiate esports. You know, a lot of other esports scenes kind of look up to Heroes of the Dorm to kind of set the standard for what college esports should be going forward. As a member of, of Heroes of the Dorm, what have you learned in your experience that you would like to pass on to the next generation of collegiate esport athletes? Um, I think uh, if you want to um, make the, the best of you uh, in uh, Heroes of the Dorm, you have to put all your effort on like um, um, it's like uh, it's a lot of train a lot of hours uh, spent uh, we didn't go to sport no uh, more uh, we didn't go to our girlfriend more it, it's it's a lot of uh, work and you have to know that you have to work at school and work on arrows and that's all on your your uh, yeah. If you want to win this tournament, mm -hmm. so you have to all in like. <laughs> For structurally within Heroes of the Dorm, what would you say that Heroes of the Dorm does really well, and what would you like to see improve going forward? Um, I think um, the format of the competition is really good. Uh, maybe if I can change something, it's like the national tournament. And when you have finished uh, the the national and regional, you have a national tournament, and like all the team didn't show up, and we do like uh, one one match for the for the tournament, and maybe we can improve on that. Maybe give more uh, more uh, importance of, of that. In closing, if let's assume for a minute that you win tomorrow, what are some of your personal goals going forward? Um, I, um, when I come to Europa, I will try to become pro on Arrows of Storm. So um, I will try to, to be pro if I can in uh, USA or Europa. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it and good luck tomorrow.